How's it going guys? We have an easy question for psych slash farm for step one and step two. I'll tell you exactly what we need to know. Not waste our fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 49 year old guy has got a four month history of hearing voices, auditory hallucinations. He's commenced on Respiridone, antipsychotic D2 receptor antagonist. 48 hours later, he develops muscle rigidity and abnormal eye movements. Temperature is 98.6 Fahrenheit. Question wants to know the mechanism of action and the most appropriate pharmacologic treatment for this patient. So, as I just fucking said, he's commenced on a D2 receptor antagonist, which has a myriad of side effects. Now, some students are going to get all trigger happy and see muscle rigidity here and say, Oh my God, it's neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Take two steps back. Chill the fuck out for two seconds. It's not neuroleptic malignant syndrome. He doesn't have a fever. Okay, muscle rigidity and a fever? Yes, that would be neuroleptic malignant syndrome. And in that case, the answer would be dantrolene, which is an antagonist of the ryanodine channel. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Okay, so we are going to, in this case, give benztropine, which is a muscarinic receptor antagonist, an anticholinergic. And this is acute dystonia. All right, so muscle rigidity and no fever, acute dystonia, muscle rigidity and fever, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Now, abnormal eye movements, this is oculogyric crisis, all right? Don't confuse that with tardive dyskinesia. So when you when we give an antipsychotic, we can get acute dystonia, which can be muscle rigidity without a fever, oculogyric crisis, as well as a stiff slash crooked neck, that's torticollis. We can get Parkinsonism, akathisia, which is restlessness, and then Part of dyskinesia months later, which is lip smacking, abnormal tongue movements. But that's not oculogyric crisis. This is acute dystonia, high yield finding here. So as I said, benztropine, muscarinic receptor antagonist, an anticholinergic, very high yield. You can also give one of the first generation H1 blockers, such as diphenhydramine or chlorphenamine. They have nasty anticholinergic side effects, which in this case is a quote unquote a good thing because we want anti-muscarinic side effects here to treat the acute dystonia, okay? So look, I could spend 44 minutes talking about every fucking answer choice here, all the drugs, all the nitpicky details that you'd like, you'd like to know, but your take home is that when an antipsychotic is given and you get muscle rigidity, if there's no fever, it's acute dystonia, benztropine, diphenhydramine, chlorphenamine, anti-muscarinic, if you have muscle rigidity and a fever, that's going to be neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Give dantrolene inhibits the ryanodine channel. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.